Last month, I was pleased to announce an investment in telecare demonstrator sites in the Dementia Wellbeing Centres. But there is more to be done to deliver the local and personal preventive approach that people need to preserve their independence and dignity. With this preventive agenda in mind, I am delighted to announce a significant additional investment from our Invest and Save approach of two million every year until 2017. This funding will support joint work with our district and borough colleagues, the Alzheimer's Society and our voluntary organisations to support people with dementia, physical and learning disabilities and those with mental health issues. Some of the ideas that our one team philosophy could develop are to invest in suitable changing facilities in local centres for severely disabled people, to develop volunteering and prefending schemes to prevent the elderly from becoming isolated and lonely, to put 24-7 telecare response systems in place to support families in need of care, to open eight more award-winning citizen hubs, one for each district in Berwick, that will enable people to gain direct access to advice and support. To come by our services to provide local, integrated daycare and support that keeps people in their own community. To co-locate staff so that social workers, police and housing staff work closely together to keep people safe. <laughs> to build local services to provide support for many who will suffer from mental ill health. To work with local business to support people with mental health problems into work. This substantial investment will provide real benefits to our most vulnerable residents and will enable many more people to live with greater independence and with dignity. 